Hello, this is Suske one to one once again. Um, today I've decided to show off my classic Mac collection. You can actually see one right in the background by the way. The um, iBook by the way. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through my classic portables. Um, I got plenty of information on this iMac by here. So we're not really going to worry about that. So first things first, let's put forward this blueberry iBook. I do apologise for the autofocus motor going mad there. So this is my Blueberry iMac. Uh, the battery is dead, unfortunately. And I do have to use this power adapter here, which is a replacement one. Because um, it did not come with a hockey puck. And come on, autofocus. To be honest, I'm going to switch the autofocus motor off. She keeps on going nuts. So what I'll do is I'll plug this in and we'll boot her up. And while she's doing that, I'll go through the specs. She is a two, 350 megahertz, I do believe. Power, power PC G3. This is the Indigo model. You see? And there we are. Uh, there's a bit of tape by here because the optical disc drives unfortunately is broken. Uh, just a clips inside to keep it in. They're unfortunately broken. This is running OS 9 I do believe. Or is it running OS 10? Yep, OS 9.2. This isn't the maximum OS for this machine. You can run Tiger on it. Um, but i got Tiger on my other PowerPC G4 machines, or G3, so I didn't particularly want to have this machine running the same OS, so I decided to have it run the classic Mac OS. So if anyone does ask me, well, what was it like back then? I can pull out this machine and have it perfectly running for them anytime they want. Um, I don't believe I got the airport card plugged into this one. Also, the battery is dead. It's dead as doornail, as dead as your, as my best friend's marriage. Has a uh, shout out to uh, Alfred de Blasi there. As you see, I've been running. I have got this on the internet a couple of times with Classilla. Uh, the screen is a 800 by 600 resolution, which sounds really low these days. That's because it is. So this machine has 64 megabytes of memory. Not 64 gigabytes, megabytes. This machine is incredibly old. Uh, it's running, you know, it's got a Mac OS ROM 9.0.1. So I do believe this machine run originally ran Mac OS 8. And, you know, this was discontinued back when Mac OS 10 was then announced. And my airport card's actually in here, uh, which you can't connect to modern uh, networks. At the, it, you know, because it is that old. So, as I said, it's a Power PC G3 uh, MacBook. And so, let's shut it down and go to the next one. Okay, guys, this is my second Apple Portable Classic machine. This is an iBook G3. I do believe it's a 500 megahertz version, and it's running something like a quarter of a gigabyte of RAM or half a gigabyte of RAM, I'm not 100% sure. So let's plug her in and power on. It's much easier to find out specs on a Mac OS 7 machine than Mac OS 9 because you have to delve into loads of menus onto Mac OS 9, but Mac OS 10 you can find out anything. Also, the last classic uh, computer I own will be a surprise. It's the oldest machine I own, and I bought it mainly for playing old school Windows games. You can probably tell what OS it's running then. It is running Windows 98 I do believe. It came to me running Windows 95 but I upgraded to Windows 98 because it had the specs to do it and to be honest I was bored which is why I own these machines. Good up, so powering up. As you can see they're not terribly slow machines. It's just because they are no longer compatible with anything that we own these days. So we go about this Mac. 
probably tell my the back shot as well isn't too good either. Yes, it's running 640 uh, megabytes RAM. Oh, I apologize, it's a 600 megahertz power PC G3 running 10.4.11. So, this machine is uh, the upgrade to the machine in the background. Uh, Steve Jobs announced this in 2000 or 2001, I don't remember, but uh, so this. So I've got this running on OS 10 Tiger. So that's one of my Tiger machines, and I do believe the iMac G4 also runs Tiger. I could shoehorn Leopard on it, but it's only 700 megahertz G4, so it isn't 100% supported. So as you can see, I've got Office on this thing. It is basically an OS 10 machine, and it is a really nice OS 10 machine as well. Um, but Unfortunately, it's designated to the shelf because it's no longer uh, to my windowsill because unfortunately, it's no longer a useful machine, guys. It's a you know it's a sad thing, but one of the only good browsers on this was which which was Camino. Um, the developers of that has actually stopped development on it, which is really gutting. But overall, this machine is an absolute. I absolutely love this machine. Uh, I bought it at uh, what you call a porn broker or a porn shop. Not porn, porn, you know, when you change in and out of things, you know, get money for stuff. You know, you put money in, buy stuff, but you can also put stuff in and get money back if you know what I mean. You guys should know, just don't take me wrong. <laughs> so, and apparently somebody actually screwed them over when they, pawn, when they pawned in this machine. They said it was an Intel Mac. They had it for sale for about £200, and I went in, saw it, and said, that's not right. They did some research on it then, and I got it for something like £25, which is an absolute bargain for one of these. Now, that iBook in the background, I paid about £30 for that one, uh, mainly because it was all together and the drive wasn't broken at the time. It's just when I put a disc in, closed it, or it was click, and it came back out. It's been broken ever since, so I will be looking for a replacement drive for that. But for now, it's well, it's a relic, you know, it's part of my collection. So that's my iBook G3, and we'll be back with the last bit of this video, which is my classic Windows machine. Okay, guys, here's my last portable. This is a satellite, a Toshiba Satellite Pro 430 CDT. This machine was released in 1997, so a good year before the uh, iBook G3 were there. Uh, one cool thing about this is there's no power brick. It's actually built into the machine. Um, on any of these uh, laptops, guys, if you want a you know larger video just covering the laptops or the machines, please give me a shout. This is just a general overview. This is a 233 MHz Pentium 1, I do believe. If I can find the power. And it only has something like 16 or 32 gigs of RAM. I do believe it has 32. Uh, it has actually got an upgrade card. You hear that old school hard drive. And this is why I have floppy disks in the house. Of course, don't copy that floppy. Okay, I've got 48 megabytes of memory in this machine. Here we are. Windows 98, guys. When was the last time you saw a machine this old? So here we are. The battery does actually work on this slightly. It runs for about half an hour before dying. But it was replaced in 2001, I believe. And as you know, with most modern day laptops that come with trackpads, these actually came with track ball, track balls or track, well, track nubs as I call them. Or little nubs as a mouse, so. Uh, the reason why I've got this little thing, this desktop theme, is because it's the one I used to have back when we had this operating system on our desktop machine. And that machine was upgraded all the way from Windows 95 to Windows Millennium until we finally got rid of it. Because my father was a knob sometimes, and we decided to put Windows Millennium on it. Right, Dio, then. So, it does take a while to boot, but. It's always good to have a bit of variety on this channel. Oh. 
There you go, so my computer properties. As you know, that brings up the little, what we'd like to call a system profile. Okay, let's file floppy disk in there last time. Because it's saying A drive not accessible. Okay, dogs. So it is a Intel Pentium R processor, registered. Doesn't tell us the megahertz or anything. Um, uh, the way you find out, you know, if it doesn't show it there, what megahertz it is, just go to System Tools and System Information. Well, the desktop themes are awesome. Um. Okay, wait a second. Components. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at system. Probably in there. Uh, God, I've not done this in a while. Does take a while? Uh, nope, still not telling me what megahertz it is. And to be honest, it doesn't matter. All I know is it's slow. It's old. So, I do believe it's a 233 megahertz uh, Pentium processor. Okay, looks, guys, that's it for my Mac uh, Classic portable laptop collection. Um, if you like this content, then please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more on any one of these machines, more detail into one, then I will be happy to do so. So thanks for watching. This is Suske121 signing out.